Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain whether diabetic people can eat watermelon or not. Before that, I am going to explain the nutritional value of watermelon. Watermelon basically contains 92% of water and is rich in vitamin A, B6 and vitamin C and minerals like copper, potassium as well as watermelon is also rich in lycopene and various antioxidants. So coming to our main topic whether diabetic people can eat watermelon or not. To understand this we should know about two terminologies glycemic index as well as glycemic load. What glycemic index means? Glycemic index is nothing but whenever we intake any food how rapidly it is absorbed and how rapidly it increases the blood sugar level. It is measured by glycemic index. In our common terms whenever we intake a food it was absorbed rapidly and it increases the blood sugar level more fast so we consider it as high glycemic index. Glycemic index is uh, classified into three types low, moderate and high. Value of less than 55 is considered as low glycemic index and 55 to 69 is considered as moderate glycemic index and more than 70 value is considered as high glycemic index. Foods with high glycemic index will enter the bloodstream more rapidly and increases the blood sugar more fast. So high glycemic index food are more dangerous. Uh, coming to the glycemic index of watermelon, glycemic index of watermelon is 72. So, whenever watermelon has been intaken, it increases the blood sugar level more rapidly. Glycemic index depends upon the quality, how, how fast, how rapidly it is increasing. Glycemic index is depends upon the quality. Okay. Next, we'll go to the glycemic load. What actually the glycemic load means? Glycemic load is nothing but uh, it depends upon the quantity as well as the quality. It means uh, glycemic load is calculated by glycemic index as well as amount of serving divided by 100. It means like uh, whenever we intake food, how much quantity we have taken the food and how much blood sugar has been raised. It was measured by the glycemic load. I am repeating once again. How much quantity of food we are taking and how much blood sugar is increasing. It was measured by the glycemic load. It was calculated by a formula. Glycemic load is equal to glycemic index into amount of carbohydrate per serving divided by 100. And it was uh, classified into 3 low moderate high glycemic load less than 10 is considered as low glycemic load value of 11 to 19 is considered as moderate and glycemic load of more than 20 is considered as high so we'll go with the calculation of one cup of watermelon that is 100 grams of watermelon what's the glycemic load is so if we want to know this we should know about the two terms glycemic index value of watermelon as well as for one cup that is for 100 grams of watermelon how much sugar is present in it so for as all we already know glycemic index of uh, watermelon is 72 and for 100 grams of watermelon 8 grams of sugar is present in 100 grams of watermelon. If we take 100 grams of watermelon, uh, 8 grams of sugar will be present. So we will calculate the glycemic load. Glycemic load is equal to 72 that is glycemic index into 8 that is 8 grams of sugar is present in 100 grams of watermelon divided by 100. 72 into 8 divided by 100 is equal to 5.76 means glycemic load for one cup that is 100 grams of watermelon glycemic load value is 5.76 so 
glycemic load of watermelon is less even though glycemic index is more but the glycemic load value is less because of loss value of glycemic load diabetes people can eat watermelon without increasing the blood sugar level because the amount of carbohydrate is less in the watermelon so people with diabetes can eat 2 to 3 cups of watermelon easily there's no issue in that if you like this video <coughs> please comment and like and share thank you for watching